If he pees on me, I swear to God. Oh, okay. Are we recording? Oh my gosh. If he pees on me. Are you I excited swear. to be here? No. <laughs> I'm glad you are brave enough to do this, though. You're welcome. So, uh, for the people that uh, barely know us, we dated in high school for. I don't recall that. <laughs> For a long time. Is no, we... What? Long time. Oh, a long time for me. Oh. That's awkward. How many serious relationships have you been in? Two. And was the first one longer? No. So ours was the longest relationship you've ever had? Yeah. Like, officially. Well, then it was pretty long. Comparatively, I guess, <laughs> but... I mean, for what? Like, a, over a year. It was not. I mean, over we broke a year. up and then we go back together. No, we. Okay, but like, if we were to actually count it, I think we got back together like probably a hundred times. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> I remember it was literally just like a joke for like me and like my friends and stuff. We would be like, they would be like, "Are you together today?" And I was like, "I don't know, maybe tomorrow." <laughs> and then like we actually would. Would you ever get back together with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um. We're just completely different people. We want completely different things. What do you mean? What do you want? Um, you're just a lot. <laughs> and I'm just not. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like. Explain. Okay, well, first of all, our personalities just do not mesh. But I mean, it worked for a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it was like a year. That's pretty successful. Yeah, but it wasn't really that all that smooth. I mean, the first six months were pretty good. Yeah, but like... You know, I, I tell people that the, the first six months of us dating were like, for me, like the best part of my life. I feel like it was like... Seriously? Like still? Well, not the best part, like the happiest I was. But then like the following six months were... Terrible. The worst. The worst. <laughs> How could I have been a better boyfriend? Um, you were a pretty good boyfriend. Let's go. Yeah. Well, also, I just think, like, you also taught me what my love language is, for sure. It's not physical touch, like, 100%. What is it? Uh, acts of service. Oh, because I didn't do that? No, you did. Like, just, like, what? like, I don't know. Like, things that, like, even, like, my friends wouldn't do with me. Like, my mom would make us, like, walk the dog, and you would do it with me. Just because, like, I didn't want to do it. But, like, little things like that. Huh. Or what? Yeah. This is so in, this is next? so informative. Yeah. The, I bet nobody has, like, ever done this. I'm, Sat down with their ex. That's like, what closure is. They just, like, <laughs> sit down and yeah, talk how many about people what do happened. That? I feel like a lot of people get closure. Well, what was the nicest thing I ever did for you? Um... Hmm... I don't, I don't know. I can't think of anything, like, big. What was the can worst you? thing I ever did? Wait, can you? The nicest thing you ever did for me? No, like, what do you think the nicest thing you did for me is? Oh. Maybe a nice letter. Oh, yeah. I would probably say, um, I do remember one time you had to, like, text my dad for it, but you... Maybe I think I had a cheer competition or something like early in the morning and even like before the competition. So super early, you somehow came to my house and put coffee in the fridge and like left a little note. Oh, yeah. And so I like went downstairs. I was like, what the who got that? But you had to like text my dad to like let you in or something. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So. I feel like little stuff like that like happened a lot. I'm gonna chat GBT uh, the worst questions to ask your ex. Oh, I I, I did that. You already too. you already did your research. Yeah. Worst. Oh wait, no. Most uncomfortable. Most uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm scared. Certainly, some uncomfortable questions to ask your ex might include: What did I do wrong in the relationship? Uh, I mean, although we might have already said, or, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you did anything, like, wrong. I just don't think we're compatible. I was also, like, 
extremely religious then. Was that, like, annoying? Because it was, like, so um, extreme? <laughs> I completely forgot about that phase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there are so many things I wish I could say on here about that, but I won't. <laughs> okay. Um, it, um... I mean, like, you're yes Christian, and but, like, no. was it, but it was, like, so extreme. Yeah, it was, like, yes and no. Yes, because it, like, actually got in the way of us. But then no, because it was, like, you know, you were, like, so passionate about it. And, like, that's great. But also, it did get in the way. Yeah. You know? Like, I wouldn't... If I had met you then, I would not have started dating you. Uh, you know? Like, yeah. that's kind of the point. Okay. So, yes and no. Do you still have feelings for me? No. In the slightest? No. Like zero? <laughs> yeah. I think I'll always like care about you, but mm-hmm. I don't think I would ever go down that road again. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask me one. Okay. There's like 10. Mm. Have you compared me to your new partner? Well, I don't have one, but... Okay, so... Okay, past. I mean, I definitely would as, like, a... You were like, okay, so this is what I don't want. No, I mean, it... <laughs> I mean, I think our, I was so, super happy. Like, the, I, I was telling you, the first six months of our relationship were... I literally tell people, if I'm, like, talking with my friends about... Like, my guy friends about relationships, I'm like, well, when I was dating JJ, like, that was the best it was. Like, it, for me, ever in a relationship, like, the beginning. I think everyone's the most happiest, though, in, like, the first six months of any relationship. Yeah. But I never, I've never had another six months relationship, so. so that was also I, your first. Yeah. So it's like, mm, I don't know how to describe it. It's like. More magical? Kind of. I mean, yeah. like the first time you're like serious with someone like that, it's like puppy love. And then yeah. it's like over and you're like, oh, that was great. But, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, did you ever cheat on me? Shut up. No. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I already know the answer to that. Um, Do you feel like you're a different person than from when we dated? Oh my God, yes. Do you feel I was like actually, I'm a different person? Yes, oh my God. How, yes and no. How am I different? Well, obviously you're a philosopher now, <laughs> allegedly, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, Wait, what do you think about what all, what all I'm doing with this podcast, posting on social media, I'm moving I would to Asia? Never. You're moving? I thought you were just I mean going. Backpacking. A one way flight. That's great for you. What is your reaction when you like see like oh he's starting a podcast? <laughs> of are you, course. Are you like rolling your eyes? No, I was like, of course. Like So you're rolling your eyes? No. Like I mean Yeah. But not like he's so annoying. Oh my god. It's like of course. Okay, but see, uh, that was one thing that I noticed was just way different between us is like I could not care less about stuff like that I mean I just care because I want a platform and I want to use it to make money so then I can keep doing it but that's not what you wanted in high school at least when I knew you and it was the same mindset you were just like I just want as many people as possible to know me I didn't say that kind of I don't don't think I said said that. that word for word I mean everyone who's a creator is is chasing to like get more followers so that they can I know, but Get that's, more that's just not me. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh. we're not the same. I, I you really are not don't him. care. Oh, did your friends or family not like me? That's a great question. Oh my gosh. Um, Why didn't you ask me that? So, my sister still loves you, obviously. Oh, really? Yeah, because my sister, like, you know her. She's, like, kind of crazy. Um, so, <laughs> she's awesome. Oh, I mean, I haven't talked to her. In- yeah, she's... Oh my god, she she's like, have you seen her? Max? You think she'll watch this? Um, probably. I mean, if I'm on it. <laughs> um, but she's crazy, so she thinks you're really funny and stuff like Aww. that. But she's always thought that. Um, but my parents. Was, so do you not like me? No, I mean. Tell me. No, they, not they no. I'm me. saying he did like you. Well, obviously they liked you while we were dating. <laughs> then they turned on me. I mean, yeah, kind of. <gasps> what? <laughs> they always say, Those you're jokes. a nut. <laughs> <laughs> They're always like, he's a nut. Yeah, I, f- I mean. But, like, you are a nut. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, take that how you, how you will. I mean, yeah, definitely. I would agree. 
And I mean, I told you this, but like when I asked my parents if they thought it was a good idea, they were like, absolutely. To do this podcast? Yeah. Well, it's happening. (laughs) Yeah. So sorry, mom and dad. Um, (laughs) What about you? Did your parents like me or your family? Yeah. There was, there's really no tea. Really? Your parents were like, fine. Like. They were just like, well, I love your mom, like, a lot, so. Oh, oh yeah, Max w- wanted you to answer the question of what you would say to my future partner. Good luck. Damn. That's it. Okay, what, elaborate. Well, if she's not like me, you'll be fine. But, like, I always tell people that, like, I would rather have somebody who's chill. I don't so, know if you would, though. I mean, no, I don't know either. I've never because dated someone who's, like, as anywhere as much energy as me. Because nobody really... Not many people have as much, like, I'm not as, not many people are as nutty as me. Yeah, you are a nut. So, um, I should make that my bio. I'm a nut. (laughs) People wouldn't get it. (laughs) You just put the emoji. (laughs) Did you ever cheat on me? No. I know you thought I did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I remember you were always, you were always so sus when I would go to, um, Robert's. Oh, I don't and I was it. like, Robert literally has a girlfriend of like four years. I just thought of a better answer. Speaking of Robert, to what is the worst thing that you ever did? Okay, what's the worst thing you ever did? In our relationship, go through my phone to a like its entirety, like. But you lied to me. Okay, but like still. But isn't that kind of like reasonable cause? No, just like break up with me at that point. Oh well, you could have said that. You but went, you lied you to went me. In the how could I? How could it. I have trusted you though? But I get how that's an invasion of privacy. Yeah. I wouldn't want anyone doing that to me. Exactly. But you could have just like broken up with me. Or I mean, or I you mean, you could, eventually if did. If you wanted but... to, or you could have just said that. Been like, I'd rather break up than you go through my phone. Yeah, but then you would have been like, all right, <laughs> like you know, like that would be more of like a dig if I didn't let you. True. You know, so. So do you think we ended on good terms? I mean, uh, we're talking right now. Well, I mean, yeah, not like bad terms, but we definitely didn't speak for like a fat minute. But like most exes don't speak after dating for a long time. True. Unless they date only for like a few months. Yeah. Do you wish we were still together? No. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing tonight? Why are you being like this? <laughs> Messing around. <laughs> okay, you need to answer some of the questions you've asked me. What's your favorite thing about me? It's like, don't really give like a fuck. No, I really don't. Like that. That's, <laughs> what, like, that's like your overall attitude and it's, yeah. like, it's fun. Yeah. It's funny. How do I think you could have been a better girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Mm, it seemed... Like, I mean, the first six months, it was great, so no uh, feedback there. We were having a great relationship, but then it just seemed like I was being swallowed. Okay, but, like, I don't think that's my fault, you know? True. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we just want different things. Oh. You know? So if that's your answer, that's your answer. Yeah. Well, I think that's what, well, from my point of view, that's what then led me to, like, wanting to kind of break up. Mm-hmm. Is it was just like too much? Yeah. But that also could have just been like other things, and that appeared to be the reason. Mhm. I also just think like after like your first relationship, like you learn that like. Oh yeah, no, I I do look back. And I wish I, I wish I would have. Like yeah. I would have treated you. I mean, not that I treated you bad, but I would have treated you differently. Like how? Like like now, for example, I would never go through like my girl. Well, I guess never say never. I haven't been in another relationship. Like, I wouldn't go through someone's phone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them that they couldn't do something. Yeah. I do remember there was a point where, like, it was after we had already broken up, like, several times. So, like, it was just bad at that point. But I had to, like, if I left my house, I would have to tell you exactly where I'm going, who I'm going with, and what I'm doing. What? Yeah. Yes. That? I mean, it was, like, kind of granted... Because of like the situation, about to say, this but just makes also me look terrible. You're well, worried about you looking bad. I look bad. <laughs> I look like I'm psycho. Well, it was in the past, and it was for like. True, but I don't even remember that specifically. But oh my god, I do. 
Oh my gosh. So you just I said also, it was granted. What did you mean? Like because of what I did. Because you lied to me? Yeah. Okay, else then. Yeah. Most boyfriends for a year would probably be a little worried if they then couldn't trust their girlfriend. Yeah, but at that point, like, we should have just, like, broken Yeah. Out. I mean, it was definitely going downhill. Yeah, it was. The ship was... Like, so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right, ask me a juicy question. We'll wrap this up. Would you ever get back together? It's <sighs> a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I... I mean, never say never. But... I don't see how that would... Yeah, I don't think it would ever How that would ever. work. So what's your answer? Never say never. Uh, That's my answer. Um, how long do you think you had feelings for me after we broke up? Well, I actually have a deferring opinion that I think everyone still has feelings for their ex, for any ex you've ever had. It's just to a certain degree. Like, how could you go from being 100 to, like, zero? Like, I would still say mm-hmm. that there's, like, always something. Yeah, but, like, I definitely don't feel that way about, like, Tanner and stuff like that. You know? So that kind of disproves that. True. But, like, any girl that I've liked in the past, even if I had, like, if I dated them. You still have feelings for every girl you've ever liked? I think every guy does. Well, well, that's just, like, attraction. That's not, like, feelings. What does that mean, then? Attraction is, uh... Well, attraction, I mean, every ex-boyfriend definitely has attraction for their ex-girlfriends. But feelings is a lot different. Well, I guess my answer is yes, because like, I think, I think, every, I think, I think that most people do. I think people have like, feelings for their ex. Do you think you actually loved me? Yeah. <laughs> do you? Tea. Yeah. Why'd you say, like, yeah? I mean, like, kind of. No, I'm kidding. Um, Are you just yeah. saying that because I said Yeah. No, I would I wouldn't say no. Like Yeah, I just I wouldn't say no. Yeah. Why were you weird about that? Well what what do you mean? You're like Yeah. I do think that I loved you. And I think right. I still really care about you. And I think everybody every guy that actually cares about their ex would still care about them. And if they say no, I think they either didn't care about them or they're lying. And they just don't realize it. Why was it so hard for you to be friends with me for a long time? Probably because I cared about you so much and had feelings for you with that. It's just weird. But I would say, like... Um, it's just weird to be around someone you were just, like, that close with. And you were my first girlfriend. So it's just, like, so extreme. I would feel like we just started, like, recently being able to, like, be actually be friends. Yeah. Well, that's probably because I so and really I was care a about you. Fat minute ago, like, so it was like up until now, basically. Are you saying that? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, mm-hmm. I really cared about you, and then still did, and still do. But I guess less and less the more I'd, we don't talk. I mean, if we talk like four times a year for yeah. the next five years, are you going to care about me less in five years, or more? Probably less. You're literally just going to think less thoughts of me. Well, like, to me, less it's of like, your brain is going to think Grayson. Yeah, I'm not... Well, thinking about someone and caring about them are completely different things. Like, I, there are people that I'm not friends with anymore that, like, I was closer with than absolutely anybody in the world, and I still care about them so much. But I don't even talk to them at all. But, like, I care about their well-being and all that. You know? Do you hope I make it big? Because um, I want to be I mean, rich. yeah, because if you don't, you're going to be homeless and <laughs> fat and ugly. <laughs> you think I ever would get out of shape? You're saying you're in shape? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, if you went homeless. So like, do you actually think that's a possibility for me, like that I could just let myself go? Mm, I mean, as of There's now, There's no way no. you think that I would actually let myself go. As of now, no. Well, you have to guess. But as you say, never say never, so... True. As of now, no. Well, I appreciate you having the bravery to come on this. I think a lot of people in general wouldn't come on a podcast and with their ex. Yeah. So thank you. What, did, what did you think about this? Is this fun? Are you excited to watch this back? Um, or no? 
Not really. Yeah. You're going to be cringing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be cringing a lot. Uh, Max, thank you for help setting this up. Of course. Max, come on. Say some last words. Come on the screen. <laughs> hey, JJ. When are y'all going to start dating? Uh, Wait, can I interview y'all? Go. Give it like, you got, you got two minutes. Mm, There's what? a difference between dating and being brothers. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. Well, you said earlier that... I'm like I being... Said, I said a joke. I was like, are you bi? And you're like... <laughs> Well, there's some stuff <laughs> that you thought I was gay. Okay, I was like, what have I done that's gay? I'm I'm partly messing with you. Interview us. Well, let's make it huh? triggered. Interview us. Um, you have what's two your what's your least favorite thing about Grayson? He's always late to everything, and he doesn't plan for anything. Mm, what was your least favorite part about us dating? Y'all PDA. Y'all touched so much <laughs> in public. I oh really gosh. don't think. It would like sit on top of each other at Chick Fil A. Oh my God! No. I, have vi- I have video proof. At Chick Fil A. No. I have video proof. That's what I'm no. Saying. Well, okay. Can I tell you my favorite my, or my least favorite thing about you? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for having us. What? <sighs> Run it. Yeah. Thank you, JJ, for coming on. Here, all Have a kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh all right. On, the, on the cheek. I'm out. Peace out. On the cheek. No. Okay. That was great. Bye.